Welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. On this shotgun tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do jump cuts, J cuts, and L cuts. So this is a technique that you're probably seeing many times here on YouTube and practically every type of video format that you see, whether it's a movie, TV show, and so forth, they all have a variation of these jump cuts, J cuts, and L cuts. So let's go ahead and start off with the one that a lot of people have seen and it's the easiest one to do, and that is the jump cut. So what a jump cut is in general is you're jumping from one part of your clip to another. So you're making a cut at portions of your video and then you're moving to another part of your video. And the general reason why this is done is a lot of times people need to cut up their videos. You know, there's portions of the clip that might have uh, no audio or there's silence or most of the times there's just mistakes and they just want to cut those parts out. And then other times people do jump cuts because they want to add some variety uh, to the visual presentation of their video. So let's go ahead and start off with a very simple one where you're just making cuts in your clip. Now within Shotcut, before you do anything, the one thing that you want to make sure is visible is the audio waveforms. So if you don't see the audio waveforms, you could turn that on. You simply highlight the track that your clip is on and you go here and then right click on your mouse and make sure that show audio waveforms is checked. If it's not, it's not going to show the audio waveform. So you definitely want that to appear if you have audio. And the reason why this is important is you know where to cut. So a lot of times people do these cuts where there's pauses or mistakes in their video. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to make a cut right here on this playhead. So I have it right there. Then I go up here to split at playhead and it'll go ahead and make that cut or that split right there. So now whenever it jumps, it's going to go directly to the next part of the clip. And obviously there's really nothing going on here uh, because it looks like it's just one continuation, which it is. But let's say for example that I intentionally wanted to cut this whole part out for whatever reason. So let's go ahead and split with this playhead. Then we'll select this portion of the clip. And then we'll just go ahead and delete it. And we'll just go ahead and move that here. And one thing that you also want on is toggle snapping. So whenever you have two clips that's close together, it's going to go ahead and snap it together. So later on, we're going to turn this off and I'll show you why as we get into the other types of cuts. So now whenever you watch this, it's going to go ahead and jump to another part of your video. So it's going to jump and now you're in a different part of your video. And in this case, the visual representation is pretty much the same, so you won't see much of a difference. But let me show you one where there might be more of a difference. So let's just say I'm over here, and this is a different part of the clip. So there's clearly a difference in the way the clip looks. So let's go ahead and make that split right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete this one, and we'll drag it over here. And now if you watch it, you know, our clip starts here with me talking and then it cuts to another part where it's definitely a different angle. So that's the way in which you can do a very simple jump cut. You find a part in your video where you want to make the cut. And it helps if the actual view of the video is different. But if not, there is another technique that you can use. And I think it is uh, something that a lot of people use. And that's basically you zoom in on the video. So let me show you an example of that. So let's say, for example, right here, I'm talking and I'm going to go ahead and do a split right here. And then on this clip, this next one right here, I want things to be zoomed in. And now we're going to go ahead and add the zoom effect. And the easiest way to do that is to use a filter. And this filter is called size and position and rotate. So it's basically going to give you this whole zoom effect. So once you choose that filter, you can now manipulate the actual portion of this clip. You could increase it or decrease it like here. So that's going to do your zoom. You can also move things around. And if you didn't want to do that manually, you could also use the zoom slider right here. So there you could zoom in as much as you want. Uh, and you can also adjust other things uh, with the actual clip itself. And once you have that zoomed in, let's go ahead and move this around a little bit right there. So let's go ahead and check this out. So we'll go back to the beginning and we'll play this and then it zooms in. 
So let's watch that again. And it zooms in. So that gives you variety to your actual jump cuts. And this is the technique that's used quite a bit on YouTube. And I think this actual technique is effective if you don't overuse it. So that's the biggest thing with using jump cuts. Some people really love using them and they could actually make your videos a lot more interesting. But at the same time, if you add too many jump cuts, then it could get really annoying and distracting. So that's the very first way that you could actually do a cut. Uh, this is the simplest way. This is a jump cut. Now let's move over to the other types of cuts that you can do. Now let's take a look at J cuts. And so in general, a J cut is a combination of two different clips. And whenever the second clip comes in, the audio is going to come in first and then the video. So you actually hear parts of the audio of the second clip before you even see it. And so the way we do this is we're going to bring in our second clip, which I already have here. And if you have it the way it is right now, it's simply going to go from one clip to another, you know, without really any type of transition, you can't add it, but this is how a J cut works. So the first thing you want to do is you want to separate the audio from the video. So the easiest way to do that is to make sure your clip is selected, then right click on your mouse and detach audio. And now the audio is detached and you can do the same thing to the original clip or the one before it, we'll go ahead and detach the audio. And so now that you see the audio and video is separated. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to turn off snapping. So basically it doesn't try to snap things together automatically. So this is how it works. Your audio is going to come in first before you see the video. So I'm going to move the original clip or the one prior over it. And here's the audio. And the reason why it's called a J cut, if you see here, this is actually in the shape of a J. So look there, that is a J. So now when you watch this, your original clip's going to be playing. You can still see it, but then you're going to hear the audio of the second clip. And then finally you can actually see the second clip. And this will take a little bit of practice, uh, depending upon, you know, the type of clips that you have. And this is something that I don't use very often. And so I would say this is a more advanced type of cut, but you kind of see the effect that you could have by doing this. And you could also, you know, add other things to it as well. You could add transitions to this, like for the video portion. So right now there really is no transitions besides the audio transition. So here you could actually move the second clip over and now you have the transition. And so if you have the transition selected, you go to properties, you can choose different video transitions. So the default is dissolve. So if I'm watching this, you know, it's going to go ahead and dissolve and there's the audio. And so in this case, I could go ahead and, you know, choose a different type of transition video effect. So right there. So there's many ways in which you can use that. But the general thing with the J cut is the audio is going to come in first from the next clip before you actually see the video. So now let's move over to our final cut and that is the L cut. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So now the final cut that we'll be looking at is the L cut. So the L cut is pretty much the same as a J cut. It's just the opposite. So instead of the audio coming in first, it's now going to be the video of the next clip that you're adding. And so just like the previous J cut, you're going to separate the audio from the video, but here is where the difference comes in. You're going to select the original clip and you're going to do this. You're going to go ahead and shorten it, or you can use this split at playhead wherever it's at. And here you're going to take in the next clip and just drag it into the first clip. So this is why it's called an L cut. If you look at the shape of it, it's in the shape of an L. So whenever you play this, you're still going to have your original clip, but then the second clip comes in, but it says the audio from your original clip prior to it. And just like the J cut, you could add transitions. So in this case, we'll drag the second clip over the first one. And just like before, you could edit the properties, choose whatever video transition that you want. And similarly, you could do the same thing for audio. And for the audio, you could either just simply drag this right here for the end audio and then here for the beginning and it'll do a fade out and then fade in. 
or you could simply drag this clip into this first one and very similar to the video transition there is audio so you could do that right there and you can do the same thing on the video clips as well so just depends on what type of effects that you want but that is it on how you would do a simple jump cut j cut and l cut in shotcut so this is a very general basic way of doing this but as you could probably tell you could make this really interesting and spending a lot of times perfecting your cuts so if you actually had any thoughts on this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my shotcut tutorials and tips i do have a playlist i'll leave that in the description area below so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe hey geeks if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on youtube and other places on the internet then check out my Go Content Creators Group, where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.